Hello and welcome to Committee and Field in Holliston, Massachusetts on Friday, September 16th for Sportview's award-winning production of Holliston Panther Football 2022. It's found only on HCAT TV. Tonight, the Panthers host the Medway Mustangs in the 74th meeting of the two teams. My name is Tom Emmons, and alongside is my co-host, the legend, Jay Wyman. Jay, last week the Panthers' defense was spectacular. What do you expect to see from Holliston against Medway tonight? Well, the one thing about defenses, Tom, is defenses never seem to uh, get in a slump. So I expect the same thing. I expect to see a defense that's attacking, using that great speed they have, coming off the sides, getting back there and uh, covering the uh, receivers and everything. Uh, defense, defense should do really well. They also played really well, especially that offensive line picked it up last week, um, playing very well for Holliston. So I expect the, that same thing here tonight. Uh, get the running game going a little bit, and then go out the passing. And then the other thing is the special teams, which last week had uh, two great plays at the beginning of the second half to basically um, turn that whole game around and, and, uh, and put it in the uh, win column for Holliston. So right now this team is really well balanced. They're playing very well, and they, um, you know, it's, it's starting to all come together. Now Medway has got a good team, good quarterback. We'll see how that works out. Last week, the Panthers beat Foxborough 33-7, to and that spectacular defense allowed a negative three yards rushing to the Warriors. Their longest run from the line of scrimmage, four yards. Yeah, Enough said. They were dominant. They were dominant, and again, it was the speed. You can't get around the edges with them now. They do a good job containing, and if they try to get around the edge, they can get them, and they also cover receivers very, very well. Captain's out for the coin flip. Number 11, Brady Sweeney. Number 13, TJ Kiley. Number 9, Joey Gentile. Number 56, Grant Harper. Number 54, Pierce Alachi. And they are joined, Holliston's wearing orange tonight in support of the Timmy O'Connell Foundation, Foundation. And Joanne and Kevin O'Connell are out there for the coin toss. The annual Tim's Trot is tomorrow as a fundraiser from the foundation. Yeah, it's a great foundation and a, they're a super family. Panthers come into this game with a record of 1-0. and oh. Ted, Todd Kiley is their head coach in his 20th season. His record is 158 wins against 52 losses. Medway is 0-1. Their head coach is Anthony Mazzola in his fourth season. His record is 17 and 11. Well, Medway played a tough game last week against Medfield. They lost. They uh, they won all the statistical battles except the score. And uh, the only issue was it was turnovers for them. And they had three big turnovers, and uh, and that did it. Last week they lost to Medfield 14 to 13, scoring a touchdown late, but the extra point was no good. And they came up a, just a point short. Holliston's won eight straight. We'll be back with the opening kickoff in just a moment. And now HCAT's own onboard com stats computer, Carlos Canto with Los's, Los's pregame lowdown. Thank you, Tom. Last year, these two teams played to an absolute thriller over in Medway. Panthers escaped with a 35-34 to 34 win that night. You know, bo uh, both teams went um, had go-ahead scores very late in this game, um, and it actually came down to a last-second field goal that the you know Mustangs missed at the end there, uh, and the Panthers just escaping by the skin of their teeth. You know, Medway actually outgained Holliston 441 to 323 yards. So you know the Panthers won't be taking this Medway team very lightly tonight. All right, the Panthers will receive tonight's opening kickoff. Brad Andriola, Andrew Dennison are back deep. Andrew Dennison back to receive a kick. Andrew Dennison had a kickoff return for a touchdown, a beautiful 93-yarder against Medway last year. Well, Andriola and uh, Dennison back there, they are two speedsters, and they get their hands on the ball. It's a lot of fun. William Hattigan will kick it away. Way kick 
kick is going to come to the 20 yards. Andreola, not the play. That's Andreola. He's ahead of the for 40. So good return for Brad Hayes. Return of about 17. Well, if you're new to us, first, first of all, Paul Paul we're really happy to have you here. But I uh, want to tell you a little bit about Hollison. They have speed, speed, speed. They're one of the fastest teams that they've ever had in the uh, in the last 20 years. And uh, they just play all over the field, offensively, defensively, and special teams. So uh, you're in for a treat tonight. So with the ball's at the Panther 41-yard line. They bounce out of a war formation. Quarterbacks T.J. Kiley back to pass on first down. Connects with Joey Gentile, number four. Joey kind of stretch out, make a nice catch there to pick up, uh, look about three yards. Joey was one of the Metro West Defensive Player of the Week nominees. Very great honor for number nine. He was all over the field against Foxborough. Yeah, you watch him coming off the side, and they, they come off the edge out there, and he'll, they'll just let him go and turn him loose, and uh, he's got the speed to catch any uh, quarterbacks. Joey led the Panthers with six tackles last week. Second down. Kylie, another quick throw. This time to Devin Harding, number three. And Harding picks up enough yards. It'll be a third down and four. Harding was the Boston Globe Division Four Player of the Week. He rushed and received for 173 total yards and two touchdowns in the Panthers' victory. Kylie on third down, connects with Brady Sweeney. And the Panthers are into Medway territory. Nice pitch and catch by there by uh, TJ and uh, Brady Sweeney. And Brady, you know, we, last, last week he had that uh, great interception return for a touchdown. Brady was a perfect two for two last year against Medway. Two catches, two touchdowns. Great efficiency. First down and 10 now from the Medway 41. Kylie, a little mix up in the backfield and Harding falls on it. But that'll be a loss on the play. Yeah, very lucky that Harding did fall on it too because they were coming in, Medway was coming in and they had two guys on either side of him. So second down and five for Holliston. Second down and 15, excuse me. Nine forty left to go in the first quarter here. No score. Fake to Harding. That was a pitch out to Andrew Dennison, number six. He also had two touchdowns last week against uh, Foxborough. One receiving, one rushing. You know, you get him out in space, he and uh, Brady Sweeney, both of them, and, and even Devin Harding, you know, those, those guys, uh, Coach Kiley will try and get them out in space because you don't have to throw the ball too far to them. They'll, uh, they can have a lot of yards after catch when, uh, when they're on and we're in, in space. On the season, the Panthers are four for 10 on third down, 40%. Third down and 12 for Holliston. Kylie back to pass, steps up, and he's going to go. 
TJ to the outside and Stance is out of bounds. First down, Holliston. You know, we talked to the captains, and uh, of course, TJ's one of the captains on the, the preseason show, and uh, he said that was one of the things that he was going to work on this year is getting out there and using his speed and increasing his speed so he can get out there and move a little bit more and uh, he's able to buy himself a first down there. You know, if they get him going, Tom, and they get, they get him running like that, uh, they, they're going to be uh, really tough to stop. First and 10 from the Medway 28. Holliston on their first drive of the night. No score. 8.16 to go in the first quarter. Hand off to Harding. He hits the right side. And he's got five or six yards close to the 20 yard line. Start six. Second and four. Looks like call about that one second and three. Yeah, it's about seven yard gain there. Nice one for Devin Harding. Hollison controlling the clock, controlling the game, controlling the whole flow. 7.40 left to go in the first quarter. Kylie back to pass again, steps up. This time looks left, looking towards the end zone. Incomplete. Incomplete for part of the end zone. Well, I like, I like when TJ rolls to his left. You know, he's a right-handed quarterback, and a lot of times right-handed quarterbacks have a little trouble throwing across their body when they're running to the left. But for some reason, he has the ability to run to his left and, and make the plays. He was running towards the line of scrimmage, so he had a little yeah. forward momentum, too. Third down and three. This is a, obviously a, a four-down situation here, so they do not have to get the first down here. This time Harding right side, dances outside, number three up the sideline, touchdown Panthers! Devin Harding, number three. Well, you mentioned about Devin Harding and, and uh, what he can do, and again, another special player. And he's only a junior, he's back next year. Uh, he's really something, he, he was really good as a sophomore last year and he's taken it up a notch as a junior this year. And, uh, Really special run, great drive by Holliston. 7-12 left to go in the first quarter. Ooh, high snap Extra by McElliott. point yeah. is up and good. So Jack McElliott with the extra point makes it seven to nothing with 7-12 to go in the first quarter. I think that, I think Nick Lodge is his holder down there, and whoever those, I think it was Nick, and uh, he did a nice job recovering a little bit. Of, the snap was a little bit high, but he was able to get it down and get it set properly, and let Jack be able to kick it through. So Harding scores from 21 yards out to put the Panthers ahead, and that was his third touchdown of the season. And the 11th of his Panther career. So a nice, efficient drive. Just Seven one points. negative play for the Panthers. As they just rolled down the field on the Mustangs. Let's give a shout out to that front five. Number 72, Vladimir Valeski. Number 70, Jack Schnelling. Uh, number 54, Pierce Alachi. Number 56, Grant Harper. And number 50, Jimmy Parmese. Oh, he will take it away. Jack Schellen is. There's the kick from O.C. He it off the 15. The 15 yard line. Out of bounds. And the Medway returner is going to be pushed out at the 20, 30 yard line. Not sure if you saw the game last week, but what William happened was Paulson had in the beginning of the second William half, they were the kicking 15, off to uh, Franklin to and, uh, I'm sorry, Foxborough. And Foxborough fumbled the ball. Paulson, special teams picked it up, we covered it, and then Paulson went in on one play for a touchdown. The next kickoff, the ensuing kickoff, the ball went in a strange area down 
down on the other side of the field, and Hollison used his speed to get down and recover. Quarterback for Medway, number 11, Luke Fronten. He's quite an athlete. Hands off on first down. And gang tackled by well, the Panthers. Well, Panthers after a short make the game. stop. Lucas Stadenkopf had the first contact. That was number five, Henry Camaris. He had 65 yards and a David touchdown. David Villa and on the stop the along with Pierce Alonji. last week. Well, what you'll see tonight with this defense, you're going to see a defense that's very quick, very fast, and they go to the ball. They go to the ball a lot, and, uh, you know, the the stay out of, if, if this whole team from Halston can stay out of trouble with penalties and uh, and uh, turnovers, they'll be in good shape. Second and six. Front hands it off to number six. And tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Number nine, Joey Gentile. Joey G with the team. Well, I told you, you know what, kind of watch him and when you, when you can, if you can see him, he'll, he'll be outside and they will just let him go. They just, they really do, they do, and they do a good job of that. And the reason they can do that is because when he gets a chance to tackle, he doesn't miss, just as he did there. He made, makes a good tackles. Third down and 14. Last year, Fronten passed for over 1,200 yards and 15 touchdowns. Here he goes. He's pushed out of the pocket by number 51. David Villa and just lets it go. And that'll bring up fourth down. Great pressure by the Panthers. Yeah, well, they all came. And they that's what they can do. And the quarterbacks, if, if you don't have blockers back there, you're going to be in trouble if you don't get that ball off quickly. I'll bring up fourth down for Medway. Now a lot of times they'll try and kick away from these uh, return spots. That's a fumble. Oh, fumbled snap, and that goes off the side of his foot, the kick. And Medway will down it at the 42-yard line. Great field position for the Panthers as they start their second drive with 5.30 to go in the first quarter, leading 7-0. Well, this crowd tonight is big, and they are absolutely electric already in this game. Seven to nothing, 5.30 left to go in the first quarter. Hollison has the, the ball on their, uh, their side, the uh, Medway side of the field, and right now they're looking pretty good. Gentile and Sweeney to the left, Dennison and McCarron to the right of the formation. Kylie's back to pass. He's going deep, and there's number 11. has got a step oh, and a great a catch. catch by Brady Sweetie, number 11. Doesn't he know it? I talked Down about the eight yard line. I talked about this earlier in, the, in some of these other games. How I I, I think that uh, TJ has done a really nice job being able to loft that ball up high and get it up up over the defense and get it a good position where they can make catches. But I'll tell you, I don't care what position it's in. Brady Sweeney just catches the ball. Great catch by number 11. So the Panthers first in goal now. Thank you. Fake to Harding. Pitch to Gentile. Goes around the right side, left side. Picks up uh, two yards. And a second down and goal from the six. <laughs> the crowd, the Red Sea is yelling, Joey G. This, this is like, honest to God, it's like a playoff game. Down it the, is. The, the atmosphere is just absolutely tonight. tremendous. Getting the signals in, Coach Kiley getting the signals into his team. Sweeney and Dennison now to the right. McCarron and Gentile to the left, the receivers to the left. The wide open to the right. It's wide, absolutely wide open. Kiley rolls right, looks back, 
Bounces outside, lets it go to the corner. Incomplete. Looked like he had Sweeney. He was trying to trying to reel it in and keep the toes in, but he was just out of bounds. So that'll bring up third down and goal from the six. Well, we'll see how uh, Medway plays this. We'll see. They started off kind of getting up kind of right in the receiver's faces, which is the kind of defense I really like. It's really, really aggressive. But sometimes you can get beat off the, off the line, and you're in trouble if that happens because the receivers here, Dennison, Sweeney, you know, these guys are really fast. Third and goal from the bar. Kylie fakes it to Harding, looks to the corner of the end zone. Now he takes it himself and scores. Touchdown, Panthers! TJ Kylie. That's, that's the type of play right there that you want your quarterback to do. If your quarterback is going to run, that's what you want it to do. You want it to look, look for the open spaces, wait, be very patient. He was patient with the pass and he was patient, patient with the run. And he waited for everything to open up, which it did, with a, with a fake that he threw, and uh, that was it, he got it in. 3.49 left to go as McCallaghan looks up for the extra point. Collier snap, the large hold, and the McElliott kick is good. Two for two, Jack McElliott. Guys, four plays, 42 yards, a minute and 41 on that scoring drive by the Panthers. Well, that's speed, and that's, that's what speed will do for you. That was Kylie's second rushing touchdown of his career. And with 3.49 to go in the first quarter, the Panthers are up 14 to nothing. So two drives and two touchdowns here tonight so far. You know, last year, this was a really young team, really inexperienced team. And they came out and they, you know, they tried their best and everything and lost a few games up front. Of course, they beat Medway, but and then they ended up with a, with a five straight wins at the end. And I think during those five straight wins, they learned a lot about themselves. And they came in here this year now, and they are just loaded for bear. They are they are ready for everything, and they're playing at a very very high level right now. Number eight, Owen Zakshevsky with the kickoff. OZ will kick away. The crowd is yelling, OZ, OZ. There's the kick. Drives the Medway guy back to the 15. Ball on the ground. Oh, and a fumble. Holliston has Holliston caused has a turnover. They're waving, they got it. Number 12. They got Nick it. Large with the fumble recovery. And the Panthers are in business at the Medway 30 yard line. Shades of last week. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you get down there. You know, again, Holliston holding their lanes, doing a good job of that. So the, the, it's Holliston ball. They're holding their lanes, Tom, until they until they get down there and make the tackle. There's a, two or three guys around the ball. The ball comes out, and that's what happens when, when you keep attacking and attacking the ball like that. They did that on back-to-back -back kickoffs in the second half yeah. against Foxborough. And the second one, like I said, it was almost like an onside kick. They they kicked it deep, but no one from Foxville went for it, and Hollis used his speed to get down and cover it. Ball's at the Medway 31. And we got a timeout on the field. Medway with 3.40 to go here in the first quarter. 14 to nothing, Holliston. We'll be back in a moment. Coach Mazzola calling a smart timeout, I think, to calm his young team down a little bit. If he saw the tape from last week, which I'm sure he did, what he's telling his team is, look out for the for the uh, right off the bat, trying to score quickly right here with the with the ball. Well, Hollis he might, has got threats, long threats all over the field. Right, and you see what the, the those D backs now they're playing back a little further. They do not want to get beat. Kylie to Harding, right side. Keeps Good push wow. by the offensive line. He grinds it out to almost the 25. He is such a good runner. And you know, he doesn't look that big. It's not like he's one of these big 240-pound bruisers, but he has tremendous leg power. 
great balance, Sorry. and he's always moving forward and leaning forward. He's got almost 800 career rushing yardage, rushing yards. Second down and four for the Panthers. This is this is a good spot right here for a crossing. Someone to go across the middle like Brady Sweeney. The middle is open where the uh, safety was supposed to be. TJ goes deep, number six is open. Touchdown, Panthers! Andrew Dennison. Well, that, that ball was thrown perfectly and Dennison just beat everybody. There was no one around him. He, he just blew everybody away from the line, uh, just like a sprinter would. He got out there and TJ just lofted the ball just perfectly, nice, easy ball for Dennison to catch and make it 20 to nothing with the extra point coming up. 2.41 left to go in the first quarter still. Just two plays, 31 yards on that scoring drive. Kelly kick is up and good. McKelly gets going to set the, pan the Panthers score just like lightning after, and they put two touchdowns up on the board, and it's 21 to nothing with 2:41 left in the first quarter. Kelly gets going to get a uh, get in the record books pretty soon. He keeps kicking like this. That was T.J. Kylie to Dennison. That was a 20 24 yarder. Those. Which one? The this one? Pass. 26. 26 yarder. And that was Kylie's third touchdown of the season. Third touchdown pass of the season. Want to give a shout out to my FM 101.3. We got uh, John and Joe in the house. It's nice to have. It's uh, great to have them. Yeah. It's a special game. You know, you want to listen to them. Uh, like they said, they're not just from Milford anymore, and they're out here uh, doing the game that uh, both Medway and uh, Hollison can pick up on the radios. Oshevsky with the kick to the 15. Short return just across the 20 yard line to the 20. I guess they're gonna mark it to the 25. Hey, got to give a shout out to our own Jack Harper, the, his dulcet tones. The dulcet tones of Jack Harper. Yep, he's up here. We got a whole Holliston booth up here today. The stars of each are back if you get a chance to watch the tapes. Last week's game, it's really something. Jay and Tom are doing it up, and they brought Carlos along again. Medway's going to try to gather themselves first and 10 from their only own 25. Blitz. Found with the handoff, oh. but. What a great job blitzing up the middle. The defensive line split that thing, so that linebacker, I didn't see which one it was. One of the linebackers got right in there. Starting defense for the Panthers, Owen Zakshevsky, number 54, Pierce Olachi, number 51, David Villa. Number 44, Chris Pacheco. Pacheco. Number nine, Joey Gentile. Number 12, Nick Larsh. Number four, Cooper Olson. Number 33, Lucas Badenkoff. Number 11, Brady Sweeney. Number six, Andrew Dennison. Number one, Brad Andriola. Second down and 13. Front and fires, but it's incomplete. Gentile in coverage. See, what, what happens is when you start to pressure a quarterback like that and you're getting, getting into the backfield all the time, they're going to try and run short passes. And the, so that allows the Holliston players to stick with those receivers, and it just makes it, you know, it's, it's like that, that cycle of life thing. You know, it just makes it worse and worse and worse for the offense. They're going to have to do something to get the ball downfield. Well, Fronten's got that kind of arm. If, if they can, yes. the Medway offensive line can give him a few seconds. He, you're absolutely right. They got to they got to give him some time, and he's got to feel comfortable that he's going to get the time in order to call the plays. Panthers are holding opposing offenses to four of sixteen on third down, twenty five percent. Third and thirteen for Medway. Defense, 
Cronin back to pass. Sends it deep to number seven. Knocked away at the last second by Andreola. That was in the hands of number seven, Brandon McNamara. Nice job by Brad Andreola. And, the, the, and then Nick Lodge is over here too to finish him off if he would have caught the ball. So once again, it's with 148 left to go in the first quarter, Midway's in kind of a precarious situation. To punt, forced to punt again. Number six, Will Hadigan. Back to punt, there's a good snap. His kick again oh. off the oh, side of his foot. It. Yeah, shanked it. And Hollison's gonna have the ball in good field possession for their fourth drive of the first quarter. Maybe even a little better than good, maybe tremendous field position the way they're playing. They mark it at the 34 yard line of Medway. You know, you, you, you think about these games and the different games they played and how well Hollison has played and the scrimmages and, and last week in Foxborough, but you still come in and you really don't know what's going to happen because, like I say all the time, it takes three games to know what kind of team you have. Kylie, short drop, steps up. Fires to a wide open. Owen McCarron, number two. He puts his shoulder down and... Bullies his way inside the five yard line. Well, that tight end, you know, they're going to be open because everyone is so concerned with the great speed they have on the outside that that tight end is going to be open almost all the time. And what happened was they, it looked like they, they might have even brought a little blitz over off the, off the uh, right hand side of, uh, from Holliston. And uh, that left that, that flat wide open. Oh, McCarron gets out there. And uh, it was, again, once again, pitch and catch with uh, TJ Kiley. McCarron with his first catch of the season and it was a beauty great run after catch and his first catch is a number two changed his right. number he changed his number <laughs> yeah. it's working for him first and goal for Holliston from the five Kylie fires touchdown touchdown Panthers and that was number two and Owen McCarron with his first touchdown of the season, for actually the first of his Panther career. 27-0, Hollis and 47 seconds still left to go in the first quarter here. That's TJ Kiley's second touchdown pass of the game. The extra point is punched through. McElliott is four for four, and the Panthers are up 28 to nothing with 47 seconds to go in the first quarter. Wow, didn't see this coming. Well, offense, defense, special teams, you know, and, and this is one of those situations where you get in a uh, in a speed mismatch, you know? I mean, that that's a good quarterback over there, Tom. You said it before, I mean, you, you know, they, look, they got size, they're good, they're good ball players and stuff, but they just they just caught somebody on the wrong night tonight. Guys, just a correction on that last touchdown. I think it was Joey Gentile who caught the reception. Oh, okay. Okay, Gentile from... That was Gentile's first touchdown of the season. No, now, that, now they're saying it is Owen McCarron. Now they're it saying is it is McCarron. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. I thought so, but. Yep. Offsides, Holliston. And move it back five and kick it again. 47 seconds left to go. First quarter. Offense, defense, special teams. I mean, you just can't you just can't do it any better than what they've done so far in the first uh, 11 minutes and 13 seconds of this ball game. Well, I, I think this run of run of touchdowns here in the first quarter, though, did get ignited by that defense. 
Ball skips to the 25-yard line. Hannigan. Oh. Pacheco was there first. Badenkoff finished him off. Up again from David Villa. Pacheco and Villa on the stop. But that yeah. defense with the first oh, three Tom, and out. You are so right. It, it, the, the defense sets the tone. In every sport, the defense sets the tone. And the defense is really setting the tone tonight. Oh. And, and when, when they can play this well, then the offense can do whatever they want when they're out there. They don't have to worry. They don't have the pressure of having to score all the time. Front fakes it to Camaris. And then is dropped at the line of scrimmage by... OZ number eight, OZ. Owen Zakshevsky. You know, Owen, you, you, you look at him and he's he's kind of like he's, you know, a lot of times he plays what they call the one technique. And the one tech, I mean, the, uh, the zero technique. And that means he's right over the center sometimes. And if, if he's right over the center or, or in between the center of the guard, it doesn't matter. What he can do is with his length and his strength, is he can he can beat the offensive lineman. He doesn't need to have a be, be a 300 pounder to control them and bull rush them. It's length and strength and in uh, speed, and that's what he does best. And as this quarter comes to an end, the Mustangs still looking for their first yard of positive yardage. We'll be back with second quarter action in just a moment. Well, the Panthers are going to have to wear orange every night. Wow, I guess from now on. I guess. They got to get the O'Connells out there for every coin toss. Yep. And I don't know what Joanne called heads or tails, but it's working <laughs> for Holliston. It is, and you know, I I don't I didn't see if the if uh, the Mustangs won the toss and deferred. That happens a lot of times. You know, I I wouldn't. When I, you have an offense like that, although, you, what are you going to do if you take the ball? You got the defense. If you if you give them the ball, you get the offense. I mean, right now it's just all clicking. Right. And Holliston has to cut, hasn't had to dig deep for any Tim time. I mean, on no. Timmy O'Connell night. Yeah. I mean, hasn't they haven't faced much adversity yet? Nope. But there's still three quarters to go, and it's still football. And believe me, I've seen weirder things happen. And the ball's not round. The ball is not round. Thank you. You know, it, I said that to you about what 15 years ago. <laughs> That's right. And, and I remember. And you remember it. And and by that you mean. Funny things can happen with that ball. You never know. That ball's not round. It's not going to bounce right back up to you like Red Auerbach used to say. Speaking of Red Auerbach, we've got, I saw it. Steve Red Curley. Auerbach camp uh, president. Steve Curley. Steve Curley in the crowd tonight. Oh, Red Auerbach, one of Red Auerbach's friends. That's right. He's got some great stories. Unbelievable. First and 10 for Medway. Fronten takes it himself. And the offensive line tries to get some momentum and the defense says, no, no, no. See, again, like I was I was saying with Owen, you know, the, the, other, the other linemen too, they're, they're quick. I mean, CJ, he, you know, he's quick. He, he can get in there quickly and, and uh, uh, Dave Villa and, and um, you know, all those guys, they, 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 they can get in there really, really quickly. And well, quick and strong. Yeah, Jay. yeah, and they are very strong, you know. And Quick and strong is oh, what you need. It, I, I it, love Coach Kiley saying, I don't care what size you are. He did, yep. And that's, you know, you, you get a kid like Piazzolacci, same thing. He gets in there offensive line, defensive line. He's not huge, but he knows what he's doing. He gets the job done. Third and tw second and 12 for Medway. Fronten rolls to his left, fires. Oh, oh. Intercepted. Intercepted. Intercepted by number yep. six, Intercepted. Andrew Dennison. And Holliston's got the ball again. Number six just dived in front of the Medway receiver. And that's what they can do. See, you, you can stay with them because their recovery speed and quickness is so great that if the, the, he gets by you a little bit, he it still gives Andrew Dennison the pack the chance to catch up or to come back as he did there to make the interception. And again, this isn't good news for Medway because Hollison again has a short field. Ball's at the Medway 36 with 11-04 11, left in the first half.
Kylie fake to Dennison. He's got it to Gentile on the end of round. He's up the sideline. And finally brought down, but not after a Panther first down. You know, that offensive line, we talked about it in the, in the, uh, after the Franklin game, and, you know, Franklin gave them a lot of trouble. Now, Franklin's a really good team. I mean, they went up and beat a good Wachusett team last week. So they had a really good defensive line. But Hollis's offensive line, they don't have a little problem. Against it. Well, they fixed that, and they fixed it in a hurry because they uh, played well against Foxborough, and they're playing very well here tonight against Medway, too. First and 10 from the Medway, 22. Kylie, handoff to Harding. Nice tackle by number five, Henry Camaris. That looked like between, uh, you know, Kylie and Harding, it, it almost looked like TJ wanted to keep the ball. Maybe he, go he with was it. trying to read the play a little yeah. bit, a little yeah. RPO. And he saw, and rightfully so, he saw on the left-hand side, there was nobody over there. If he had kept that ball um, and gone, he would have got a lot of yardage. TJ would have. Second and 10, no gain on the play. Kylie drops back, steps up, goes back again, fires to the end zone, tipped up. Nice play by the Medway defender. Incomplete yeah, the pass. I think TJ just really wanted to throw that one a little bit sooner, but he had to do that kind of that little hitch there and uh, wait for half a second, split second, and that allowed his receiver to clear out and leave the Medway guy there by himself. That brings up third and 10. Again, four down territory, so, you know, if they pick up four or five here, that's, that'll be good. Nine thirty left to go in the half. Kylie looks left, scrambles right. He's being chased. Fires it for the end zone, yeah. incomplete. Yeah, that got tipped, I think. It was, looked like a... That brings up fourth and 10 for Holliston. Like you said, they'll go for it here. Well, of course, at this point, the way that defense is playing right now. Panthers are one for two on fourth downs this year so far. Hollison's going to take a timeout here. So timeout, Panthers with 9.20 to go, up 28 to nothing. We'll be back in a moment. So fourth and 10 for the Panthers. They really have a myriad of options to move the chains. Let's see what Coach Kiley drew up. TJ rolls left. Cuts it back. He's going to take the ball himself. Puts his sh shoulder down and pushes forward. It's going to be close. Looks like he's going to be a little short of the first down. You know, it looks like he got it. They're mocking it a first down over there. Yep, he got it. Wow. Again, so now, Kylie with the first down. Now that's twice he's done that. He did it on the touchdown that he made, and he did it there where he just... I, I think you can tell that he's worked on that all, all summer long because he's not just fast, he's quick, and he's able to dart in and out and avoid the tackles. So first and 10 from the 11, which is essentially a first and goal, but the Panthers could pick up a first down. Kylie to Harding. Ahead. Hits the middle of the line and picks up three. Yeah, that was that second was second and seven. That was good closure by the uh, by the Medway defense because um, Hollison had just split those two defenders, the two defensive linemen, wide apart, and it looked like uh, Devon was going to be able to just trot into the end zone, but they recovered well. The linebackers recovered. Yeah. 
8.35 left to go in the first half. On second down, about six. Oh, he's Fires got to him. the corner of the he's end zone. Open. Touchdown, yeah. Panthers. Yeah, that was a pretty play. I thought for a minute, I thought it was uh, it might get called as a pick penalty, but uh, it, it wasn't. Number 11, Brady Sweeney. That's his first touchdown of the game, second of the year. Again, you get him out there, and, and Brady is going to be a mismatch for almost any uh, D back that tries to cover him. He's big, he's tall, he, he's got the, the arms that can get up there, he's got a good, what they call radius. His uh, extra point is up and good. And Jack McElliott is a perfect five for five tonight. But, but getting back to Brady, you know, he's, he's just uh, uh, gonna be a nightmare for anybody trying to cover him now. Uh, they tried earlier to cover him with uh, the the cornerback and the safety as they were marching downfield a couple times, it just didn't matter. And the other thing is when you do that, what are you gonna do with Dennison? You're gonna have to double team him. And if you do that, now you got McCarron back there or, or Devin Harding getting slipping out into the uh, into the flat. You know, it's just it's just too many weapons. Brady Sweeney with his twelfth touchdown catch of his career. Puts the Panthers up 35 to nothing with 8.20 to go in this first half. And it's just a giant love fest here for the Panthers. Well, you know, sometimes you get games like this, you know. Sometimes you're the hammer and sometimes you're the nail. And tonight, uh, is lucky enough to be the hammer right now. Again, a long way to go. I mean, you know, it's, but it is 35 to nothing, so. We'll see how this plays out. T.J. Kiley with his 24th career touchdown uh, pass. Oshevsky with the kick, line drive to the 15. Hannigan winds his way up just shy of the 30 yard line. So now you gotta, that's all you gotta do now is face the defense. And, and I'm not sure, Los, do they, do they still not have any um, positive yardage? Still looking for their first positive yard. Negative 10 yards of total offense for the Mustangs. Well, almost 16 minutes into the game. Well, they've gotten positive yards. They just got negative yards to offset it. Yes. Still looking for their first net positive yard. <laughs> Front, deep drop. Ooh. Pass yeah, incomplete. Complete. Just in front of Hannigan. Incomplete pass, second and ten. Looked like they were trying to set up some kind of screen they were, right they, there, I, but Holliston had it covered. Yeah, I think you're right. They were trying to set up a screen, but what happened was, I think that was, was that, um, was that Joey Gentile that, that had that had floated back, floated back there and, and into coverage? Somebody floated back there into coverage, and, and uh, that kind of broke up the whole thing. Second down and 10 from the 30. Front hands it off to Camaris. Hit after a gain of one or two. And you see, it in a, and again, Tom, you get um, all those tacklers in there. Everybody, everybody going to the ball, and and again, that helps you with the tackling. And if the ball should ever drop out, it's your team that's around there. Third down and nine for the Mustangs. This is one of those teams, especially if you're a defensive coach like Coach Athey, you gotta really love coaching this. I mean, you can, you can do a lot of stuff with a team like this. Front and rolls left, it rolls right. And Hollison's got him covered. Brady Sweeney, the first one on the tackle there. Sweeney coming up strong. Good call. 
That'll bring up fourth down for the Mustangs. Now, the first two kicks have been kind of shanked a little bit. We'll see if the kicker can get one off here. Of course, if you get one off, then, then you get the other problem of uh, the Hollison uh, returners. And, uh, Dennison <laughs> back there. This one only goes 10 yards. And Holliston's going to take over at the 40. What's the average field position for the Panthers? Must be very good tonight. I'll get back to you on that. Well, they only had they only had the one big drive at the beginning of the game, right? They they got the kick kick week and they ate up like five or six minutes on that drive. That was from the four their own forty. Right. That was a sixty yard drive. Right. That was the long one. But the offense has been five for five. Average field position for the Panthers, their own 41-yard line. Now, that, that's not going to help the Medway cause either. When you, you basically, to uh, Holliston, that's a short field. Two turnovers and a couple of short punts. 6.35 to go in the first half. The Panthers are on their sixth, sixth offensive drive tonight. Hand off to Harding. He gets away oh. from the first tackler, gets oh. into the second level. Nice screen by Sweeney. And he's inside the 20 to the 15 yard line. One famous announcer once said, I can't believe what I just saw. What a great move by Devin Harding there. He just stopped and turned around, reversed, and went. What a beautiful, beautiful move. Great acceleration by number three when he shook off yeah. that first tackle. Balls at the 14, first and 10. And Holliston calls a timeout with 6.07 to go in the first half. We'll be back in just a moment. You know, Tom, one of the things coming into the season, and we talked about this a little bit too, and that Coach Kylie, what he always does is uh, schedule really strong teams. And, you know, they scrimmaged Natick, they scrimmaged. Uh, Real scrimmage was really a game, actually. Franklin, and then um, last week with Foxborough, and they so they've been able to apply their trade against some big, uh, important ball clubs. First and ten, handoff to Harding. He winds his way through. Harding is down to a Looks like he's got it close to another first down. And that is going to bring up first and goal for the one for Holliston. Harding is, he's like sneaky fast. He's, he's fast and he's quick and he's always going in the right direction. I, well, obviously, I mean, this being his junior year, he's bulked up a little bit too. Yeah. Strong enough to take on those tacklers. I think this is where if you're the coaching staff, you give it to Harding and let him finish this drive. First and goal from the one. Hand up to Harding, he dances in. Touchdown, Panthers! Number three, Devin Harding. Well, his second touchdown of the game. That was Devin Harding in his offensive line. And he got in there and there were some big, big holes and he took great advantage of them. But there was also that one run that he did by himself, that first run, that was just a thing of beauty. Wow. Boy, boy, McKellar, he's really kicking well. And the extra oh, point is no good. That really got up there, though. Wow. So with 5.55 to go in the first half, it's 41 to nothing, Holliston. Harding with his fourth touchdown of the season. Well, 
Well, I'll well, it's been Panthers, Panthers, Panthers. Yeah, the, the whole the whole thing has been Panthers, and you know, it's, you get in one of these situations again. You get in a game like this, and it just everything just starts going downhill. You know. And, well, this this Allison's played a pretty tight ball game. I mean, for their for themselves in yeah. all three phases of the game. Can't really put pick out many mistakes at all that the Red had made. That's right. You know, you're coach Coach Kylie, you know, you get in a situation like this and especially if they score one more, I mean would I, I you wanna keep your regulars in playing, give them the playing time, but what are you gonna do? You're not gonna be playing them when it's if, if it gets up to be any worse than this. OZ, chip kick, taken at the 30. Oh, what a hit. Return to the 35 yard line. Well, right in front of the Red Sea and they have been vocal tonight and very pleased with the score on the scoreboard. Yeah, the field up the end zone up to our left, it just mobbed with people. It just and the, the, the it's nice to see it, it's, it's really almost, great it's it, almost uh, ringed with fans yeah. like you'd see on a thanksgiving morning exactly and it's deep it's not just one or two people it's deep well it's a beautiful night for football I'm glad everybody came out Broughton with a complete pass number 87 close to a first down that's sean anderson Receiver. It's going to be, it looks like it's going to be second down and one. There's a flag on the field. Yep, flag here. What was the call? I did not I don't know, see but it. It looks like he didn't wave it like he, like he, it's going to take it up, but no, they're going to they're going to match it off against Holliston. Yeah, five yards. Let's see if we can find out what this is. I didn't recognize that one. I mean, it's never seen five yards added to the end of a run. No, no, never five. I mean, ten, maybe fifteen, yeah. definitely. But I don't know what that was. All right. After the penalty, the ball's at the Medway 41. 5.45 to go in the first half. Medway sends trip receivers to Fronten's right. Fires to his right. Caught by number seven. That was Brandon McNamara. Joey Gentile and Andrew Dennison on the tackle. Well, so now see a little uh, life there over in the Medway side. So Medway crosses into Panther territory for the first time tonight. And with that play, they finally go positive yardage here. They've got five total yards of offense. Bronton back to pass oh. under a rush. Puts it up. Incomplete. Knocked wow. away. Nicely covered. But someone got in and almost got front, and I didn't see who it was. I think that was that was Dennison in coverage. He knocked it away at the last second. But was that was that Gentile that got in and almost got I the didn't quarterback? See, I, he I came didn't right see he came right in and he stuck his hand up just just as he got there and, and uh the ball got out of uh, the quarterback's hands. So third down and three for Medway. 5.04 left to go in the first half. And I would think Hollison will be, will be attacking right here. Front uh. hands off to Camaris. Oh, he and got it. Looks like he, he rolls yep. forward for the first down. Got the first down. Here's the watch 
But the, the Mustangs move the chains again. Yep. They gotta, they've got to make um, hay on uh, first down as much as they can. If not, they've got to make hay at least by second down because if they don't and they have third and long, Hollison's just going to just, just keep coming after that quarterback. First and 10 from the Panther 40-yard line. Front back to pass. Goes deep, looking for a Hannigan. Wow, that, that, looked, that looked like a really nice pass. I, it, it almost looked from here like if, if Hannigan stretched out, he might have had a shot at that. But, of course, we got a bad angle up here, so I don't know if that was really, really as close as it looked to us. C.J. Pacheco had some great pressure on the quarterback on that last play. Yeah, I know, Lawson. They're, they're going to come. I mean, they're just going to they're just going to load up and pin their ears back. Second down and ten for Medway. Screen. Everybody Ooh. came. One on one coverage, and Andreola almost oh, picked I it off. That is great coverage. That is great coverage right there. Brad almost, he almost made the catch too. I thought there were, I thought there was, a, there were so many Hollison players going through that line. I thought they were setting up a, a screen pass. Yeah, no, everybody poured wow, in on just, that play. Pressure from everyone. Four twenty-five left to go. Clock stop. So third and ten for Medway. Come they come back again. to pass, chased by four Panthers, yep. and overthrows Camaras incomplete. Yeah, that's that's a tough throw for a quarterback, especially <laughs> when he's when he's really on the run like that to throw um, to your left across your body and, ma and make, a, uh, make it a good throw. Well, and to see the whole defensive front coming like at the, you the, like the, that. And, and that's the thing, Tom, they're, they're all coming. Uh, Four twenty left with all these uh, incomplete passes, the clock uh, isn't running quite as fast as it was running in the earlier on in the game. And Medway's going to go for it on fourth and ten. Great call, great call by the coach. I, I that you got to do this. Front and back to pass. Got time over the middle. Oh, oh nice play by Sweeney or Dennison from his safety spot. Wow. Wow, that big was, hit by number six. That was a great play. Timed in just perfectly. Just as the Medway receiver was touching the ball yeah. in his hand, he was able to contest that ball up high. So now Hollison gets the ball again with 4.15 left to go in the half. And this is only the second time, as you had said earlier, Tom, that they get the they're getting the ball in their own end. Right. The opening kickoff, and right yep. now. And it looks like the Panthers are in war now. They yep. come out in their war formation. Nick Larch, number 12, is the quarterback. C.J. Pacheco on one wing. Devin Harding on yep. the other. And right away, we got a flag. I think Holliston jumped. They did jump, yep. False start. False start was on the back, first and 15. Nick Larch is in the quarterback with a war offense. Number 15, Kevin Sahagan comes in at the fullback spot. Pitch to Harding. 
right side. Number three follows his blockers and he's ahead for seven. He's got quite a few yards tonight, uh, Harding. Uh, Los, you have a, a number for him? Devin Harding, 10 carries for 72 yards and two oh, touchdowns. Wow. Jeez. Just another night at the office. Good call, DeLegge. Second and eight for Holliston. Pacheco, left side, number 44. Barrels his way to the 49. He's looking, he's gonna be one yard short. Imagine having to tackle Pacheco after all that. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing about, about Pacheco is, you know, he came up there and, and he almost stood up as the player came at him and he, he knocked the player back a little bit and he picked up another couple of yards. Holliston back at the line. Larch under center. Harding, right side, jumps one to tackler. And he gets brought down at the 42. That's actually Cooper Olson, number four. Oh, they switched out, uh, switched out backs. Well, that's well, the, the Panthers have another first down, and they're in Medway territory again. That's the other thing Hollison has this year too is they got a lot of depth. There's Harding this time to the left, follows Alachi. Picked several, up a couple of yards. You know, several times in the past we've talked to the offensive lineman, and you, you just know it's an offensive lineman that you love the war. You just really, you could just, just go at people in, in different angles, and, you know, you don't, they don't know where you're coming from. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a, lot, a lot better than standing back and getting pummeled when, when someone, <laughs> quarter, your quarterback's back there trying to pass, you're trying to protect for him. Right. So this is a lot of fun for these uh, offensive linemen. Harding on the right, Olsen on the left. And it's number four, Cooper Olsen cuts the corner. And another first down for the Panthers. 142 left to go in the, the half. Ball's at the Medway 22 with one minute and 38 seconds left in the first half. Clock is running. Pacheco, number 44, left side. And the whole pile rolls forward again, close to another first down. You know, with the, with the score the way it is, they probably wouldn't do this, but you see how that defense is starting to line up now? They're just, they're just playing 100% run. This is where you just can pop back and hit somebody wide open in the end zone for a touchdown. Second down and two, 106 in the clock running. Here they come. Ball's on the ground, I think. Medway has it. Yeah, Medway has it. Yep. And Medway has the ball. With 52 seconds left in the Medway half, the they stopped the Panthers for the first down. time tonight. Well, actually, the Panthers stopped the Panthers for the first time tonight. Now the other, the other thing is too, with in, in a situation like this, is that, you know, you've got a big game coming up next weekend against Milton, and you want to keep everybody sharp. You don't want to let them do anything out of the ordinary here and or slack off at all. So Medway back on their own 15 front and pitches it out to Camaris. Clock keeps running. 40 seconds left to go in the half. 
But you know what I mean, Tom? I mean, you don't want to get any bad habits here. You want to you want to stay sharp. You you know you've done so well up to now, and chances are a lot of these guys will probably won't be playing in the second half. So you want to come off here with a with a good uh, ending. Gain of six on the play, second and four for the Mustangs. I think that's their longest run from scrimmage of the night. Front to the right. And he is stopped after a couple of yards. And that's it. And that'll do it. The end of the first half, Panthers dominate. 41 to nothing over the Midway Mustangs. We'll be back with second half action in just a few moments. And as the Panthers come back out onto the field for the second half, we'll give you some second half stat or some first half stats, excuse me. As you might imagine from the score, Panthers leading 41 to nothing. Uh, everything on the stat sheet pointing towards the Panthers. Uh, 13 first downs to only two for Medway. Check out the total yardage. This is just eye popping. 298 total yards of offense for the Panthers, only 18 for Medway. That's 123 yards passing, 175 yards rushing for Holliston, uh, 16 yards passing, uh, just two yards rushing the ball for Medway. Uh, both teams have lost a fumble in this game, and uh, three tackles for loss by the Panthers. They're really getting after Medway on defense. Third down conversions, as you might imagine, really in favor of the Panthers, five of six for Holliston, only one of six for Medway. Quarterback T.J. Kiley is nine of 13 for 123 yards passing. That's three touchdowns as well. And uh, Devin Harding leading the way, uh, rushing the football. He's got 11 carries for 81 yards, including two rushing touchdowns. Uh, T.J. Kiley has 31 yards rushing of his own. And um, Cooper Olsen with 27 yards rushing as well. Leading receiver for the Panthers is number 11, Brady Sweeney. He's got three catches for 55 yards and a touchdown. And Owen McCarron has two catches uh, for 34 yards and a touchdown. For Medway, quarterback Luke Frotten, two of 11 for 16 yards, zero touchdowns, one interception. Their leading rusher is Henry Comares. He's got 11 yards on five carries. For more stats and information on the Holliston Panthers, you can follow us on Twitter at HCATFootball, and that's the lowdown. Thank you, Luz. Don't forget the Andrew Dennison interception. <laughs> the the CompuStat is firing on all cylinders right now, Tom. I don't even have time. <laughs> fumble. Oh, oh fumble. Box oh, around. Oh, wow. Lucky. And Medway looks like they recovered it. Hannigan bounced that one around a little bit, but was able to recover. Medway will start at their own 29 yard line. Well, it was all Holliston there in the first, uh, first half, obviously, and uh, see if this defense can keep it up. Fronten fires to his left, complete, caught by number seven. Nice tackle there by number 21. We've already got some new players on defense. That was James Givens. Uh, new substitutions on defense. Just to give you some stats, Zach, yes, uh, Owen Zakshevsky, Zakshevsky leading all tacklers with three. And we have Nick Larch credited with a fumble recovery as well in the first half. Second down and three for Medway. They're back to the air. Short pass, complete. Taken down by Brady Sweeney, but not before Medway picks up a first down. Yeah, that was a nice job by Medway getting out there and a little comeback pass. Get out where he had to get for his first down. Well, Fronten was 17 at 28 for 164 yards last week against Medfield. Well, we, we talked about it, Tom. I mean, like you, you had said from the beginning, he can play. He's a good ball player. He's a good quarterback. You know, he just needs time. And what quarterback doesn't?
Front on first down, and oh, he is taken down by the Panthers. That's number 54, Pierce Alachi. He got a lot of help from Lucas Badenkorf, cop, and number 70, uh, that's Jack Schellings. Well, the three of them were there like a freight train for crying out, three freight trains. Pierce Alachi, the captain, you know, he, he does it both on offense and defense playing in that those lines and now they're marking off a penalty? Again? Yeah, so there was a penalty for um, an illegal block by Medway, so that's going to back them up um, 15 yards. Can I say I didn't see a block on the play? Is that wrong? <laughs> yeah. Maybe that was why it was illegal. <laughs> You've got to throw at least one. <laughs> so it's going to be first and 25 after the penalty. Front and back to pass. Fires, picked off, interception by number six. Andrew Dennison with his Andrew second Dennison. pick of the game. Well, great defense there by uh, Andrew Dennison, but he better thank C.J. Pacheco a little bit too because C.J. was putting big pressure on front and, and uh, front, he just had to get rid of the ball a little bit before he wanted to and uh, again, with that great speed, he can cut across the face of the receiver to make the catch. I mean, what are you going to do? He's faster than your receiver. He's he would ended up being the receiver on the on the uh, on the play. So another turnover created by the Panther defense. 9:42 to go in the third quarter. You know, it's got to be frustrating. You feel the you, Panther War offense comes out. Sorry, Jay. You feel you get a little something going, and then all of a sudden you get a, a turnover. And Nick Larch is quarterback. Larch. There's the handoff to Devin Harding around the right side. And he strings it out, but then he's upfield. Oh. Looked like they had him for a no gain or a short gain, and he's up the field nine yards you know all night not just tonight another many many times you think someone's had him and he just keeps pumping those legs I mean uh, again if you know if you're a coach of a little little league uh, pop wanted team or something take a picture of him and show your running backs that's how to run number 17 Aiden Ibbotson in at the left wing pitch to Ibbotson Bounces it outside, gets the first down, spins inside the 30-yard line to the 29. Well, Aiden Ibbotson's another one. You know, he played at the uh, the end of that uh, uh, Franklin uh, uh, game. I call it a game. Um, and he was sensational. I mean, with a the, with the ball, they couldn't take him down either. So Jack McElliott is in at the right wing running back spot with Ibbotson on the other side. Ibbotson with the pitch. Hits that right side on first down. Picks up about three yards. Nice job following his blockers there. I'll tell you, though, again, maybe you don't want to throw the ball in this situation, but no, the way they're coming in, you can easily do a reverse and uh, go, go to the outside, especially the left-hand side right now, and there is nobody, I mean nobody over there. That You watch that safety, he's the only one with a chance, and he's, he's coming in on every play, he's coming in to make the tackles. Second and six for the Panthers. Inside handoff, this one to Sahagan. He looks like he might have the first. He got to the 20. He needed to get to the 19. Number 84, Blake Harper into the game at tight end. One Zach Shevsky getting a well-deserved rest. Third on the yard. 
7.05 left to go in the third. Third and third. one for Holliston. Ibbotson, tripped oh. up, but he's away. Touchdown, Panthers! Aiden Ibbotson. Well, what happened there is great, great balance by Aiden Ibbotson. He came out and he kind of, it looked like, I don't know if someone just got their hand on his foot or if he just kind of stumbled a little bit and held his, his um, balance and was able to take it in. I'm telling you, he did that against Franklin too. He can do that and he's a, he's a great back to have there behind uh, Harding. A 22 yard run by number 17, his first touchdown of his Panther career. Elliott's extra point is up good. and good. And with 6.38 left in the third quarter, it's 48 to nothing. Well, what will happen now is we will go into what they call running time. And uh, they just kind of let the clock run. They don't, don't have a lot of stoppages in, in the running time. Well, the rule is... With, uh, if you're up by 42 points in the third quarter, it's running time. Or if you're up by 30 points in the fourth quarter, it's running time. Jack Mangelli having a nice night as kicker. Six of seven extra points. Because of the MIAA rules, a 40-point lead in the third quarter means the clock will I, th I, think, I think what, you, what you're going to have with, with, with Jack is that He's going to have, be given the opportunity to score a lot of uh, extra points this year. He's only a sophomore. Only a sophomore. They got a couple sophomores here. Uh, Maidenkopf is Maidenkopf, a, Maidenkopf yeah. is another one. Davidson, sophomore. OZ with the kick. Whoa, nice OZ's kick. kick to the 15. And he makes it all the way to the 31 yard line. OZ on the tackle. And the kicker made the tackle. <laughs> That's a great call. Those good eyes. Just had my prescription renewed, so it should be. Yeah. <laughs> you are talking about eyeglasses. Yes. Okay. Clock running. 4:52 left to go in the third. Wallison's getting some other players in here now. Medway first and ten at the 31. Their own 31. Bronton moves his running back around. He pitches out to Comaris, but he oh, can't nice find the outside. Panthers with great pursuit. You know, I used to think this a lot in um, a lot of college games when the games get out of hand, you know, and the coaches put in the second team. Well, the second team, that's their one chance to play. They're, they're going to be out there playing as hard as they possibly can. So it's not like you're going to go out there and ease your way down the, down the field for a touchdown. These kids are out there to prove a point. They want to, uh, they want to get, get higher up in the, in the depth chart, and they want to uh, show what they got too. So you're number, going to be getting kids doing a lot of stuff out there. Number 10, Landon Beecher checks in at middle linebacker. Fronten on second down and 12. Goes right, looks back left. He's got a nice little screen set up. Camaris keeps his feet and has a oh. first down. Wow. What a great, great run. That thing I thought was getting blown up back as soon as he caught the pass. And he was able to just keep going and get that first down. Absolutely nicely done. The ball's at the Medway 47. Jack McElligott may have made a touchdown saving tackle on that last one. Yeah, it was touchdown saving, you're right, because uh, he, if he broke that tackle, I think he was gone. Off 
Fronten, back to pass. Goes deep, down the sidelines. Great catch, Incomplete. out of bounds. Oh, uh, dropped Look. it. He dropped it, oh Yeah, wow. it was a great pass though. Looked like had again. Had it, he had a step on the defensive back, but couldn't bring it in. Clock running, 2.10 left to go in the third. See if Hollison comes with a blitz here. Second and 10 for Medway. Front hands off to Camaris. Breaks a few tackles. Oh, there's a flag. Yeah, we got a flag in the middle of that pile. <laughs> kind of about where sometimes you get a block in the back. But Henry Thomas, the ball carrier. Back and Holliston up. I think it might have been a face mask. Oh, yeah, yeah. must have been. <laughs> yeah. That is the call. To a first down that way. Now. Well, there's only five yards marked off. Do they think they have a choice of five or 15 on those face mask penalties? I don't know. Why wouldn't you take 15? <laughs> it doesn't make much there's sense. 15 from the line of scrimmage. Oh. Fronten to Camaris. He'll probably get to squeeze in one more play here in the, the third. Commerce picks up five yards. I'll tell you, this second team for Holliston, you know, they're not making it easy on, on Midway. Game of about five, second and clock by Joseph. Some of the they're going to let the clock run out. It'll look the way it looks. And that'll bring us to the end of the third quarter. Holliston 48, Medway nothing. We'll be back with fourth quarter action in just a moment. Second down and six for Medway. Here comes a blitz off the right side. Right into the blitz. Right and into Hannigan. the blitz. Perfect Tackled call. right away by number 15. Play, Kevin Sahajan with the hit. Kevin came, he, he, the play of the running back ran right into the blitz. Kevin came off that right side, and uh, he was just standing there waiting for the running back to get to him. Uh, some of the numbers I see, number 59, Andrew Raffo, number 60, Tristan Crimmins, number 77, Charlie Stott. This is Number really 24, Matt Hunt. Third down and 11 for Medway. Fronten, back to pass. And incomplete. Yeah, thrown a little low. It's nice, he led him perfectly, but it was just a little bit low. Bring up a fourth down. You know, when Hollison has teams like this and games like this, this is where all these other kids get so much varsity experience that, you know, next year when they come in, they've played a lot. You know, they, you know some of these kids are complaining about the entire uh, second half here. This is Medway's only their second fourth down of the night. They were unsuccessful on their first attempt. Colin Kerr, number 16. Fourth and 11 for Medway. Yeah, they Fronten come. back to pass. Fires to the left oh. side. Incomplete. Incomplete. Who was that on the coverage? Someone, I didn't see how it ended up, but it looked like. I think that was, well, Kerr was over there, 16. It looked like his hand came down. I don't know if he was able to knock it out because we can't see in front of the bench here, but. 
So the Panthers, second defense holds. And the offense will come out. Andrew Raffo got some pressure on the quarterback too. Clock still running now. There'll be nine and a half minutes left. I gotta say, I, I really think these running time rules are, really make a lot of sense. You know, I mean, it's, I, I know the, the kids don't, maybe don't get to play quite as much because there's not as many plays being run. Number 66, Jimmy Bordeaux, checked in at offensive line. McElligot and Ibbotson at the running back spots. Ibbotson, number 17, fake to him. Doing an inside game of about seven. That was a really and nice that fake. Was, that was Sahagan. Or who was at the fullback spot? I don't know. I, just, I saw Ibbotson. I, I didn't catch the fake until just near the end of the play. Carried out very well. Yeah, that was Sahagan, number 15. Sorry, didn't get that number right. Nine-yard gain, second and one for Holliston. And this offensive line is doing really well. These, uh, the second team is here. Larch turns around to Sahagan oh. again. And he fights his way across midfield for another first down. It was like looked like one of those no look passes from Nick Lodge. He just kind of looked in one direction and handed the ball off in the other. And so I think number 31, Tommy Tommy Quinn comes in at quarterback. He's going to run the war offense right here. He's just a freshman. Ibbotson for a couple. Ibbotson for about two. Second Number 80, more, Max Moraro. <laughs> 53, Caleb Greenberg. Let's see if I get some of these other numbers. 84, Blake Harper. McElliott, number 20. And he Look, is swarmed under near midfield. Don't hurt that leg. <laughs> <laughs> we need that leg. Just the toe. He had the uh, the catch from, uh, from Beecher at the end of the Franklin thing. He had caught, caught the ball for the touchdown, kicked the extra point, scored the last seven points in the for Holliston, the Holliston win of that uh, scrimmage. 6-10 left to go in the game. Third down and 14. Quarterback takes it himself. Quinn is thrown back after a short gain. That brings up fourth and 12. Clock still running, five and a half minutes left. Let's see if Holliston just hangs on to the ball here if they uh, punch it away. Coach Kylie's going to call a timeout. Or no, he's just no, switching no. out his. Uh, sending in his punt team, looks like. 
Well, maybe he's going to have to call, call a timeout. I guess he did call a timeout. Clock is stopped. He did call a timeout. Well, 5.08, yeah. the Panthers have been dominant tonight. It's not going to be so easy next week against uh, Milton, the Milton Wildcats. Uh, They'll be traveling all the way down there, and yep. Milton is one of the top teams in eastern Massachusetts, number one in Division Three. Yeah, Milton uh, had a nice win over uh, Situate last week. As we said earlier, Situate's playing uh, Duxbury tonight. Duxbury is way up there in the state too, so we'll get a good idea of where we where we are next week. So too much delay of game against Holliston. Yeah, I think it's too many men actually. Yeah, too many guys on the field there. Yeah? Too many guys on the field. Who's getting ready to punt? Oh, nice little punt. Take a bounce. Oh, now there you go. Takes a Holliston bounce. I thought he hit that ball, no? I think I thought he thought he hit it. Yeah. I guess not. That was a heck of a kick by number 53, Caleb Greenberg. Three thirty, the clock's still running. That was a nice win for Holliston. You know, big win, big, you know, big rivalry here with Medway. You were talking about how, how long, how many games they played against each other. And it's the 74th meeting. Three minutes. Holliston leading the series, 45 wins, 24 losses, and four ties. Now they added another W here tonight. And a three on first down. On to Milton. We'll be there next week. You, but, you know, if you can get down there, get down there. Really, it really helps the kids out to have a, a big crowd down there. So if you can get you can get down there, get down there. If not, if you're unable to for whatever reason, uh, just look for us. I guess we're on YouTube, right? Is that where we are? Right, YouTube Live. But HCAT tweets out the link and puts it up on Facebook before every ball game. Okay. They tweet, they Facebook, they this, they that. They probably Instagram, but yeah. I don't do Instagram. <laughs> Second down and seven Two from minutes. Medway. Coming this way. Clock running with a minute 50 left to go. Landon Beecher. Well, this is a team this midway. You, you talked about this earlier, um, Tom. They should, uh, they really had a good shot of beating Medfield. They probably should have. It was uh, the three turnovers that, uh, that cost them in that game. But other than that, they really um, outplayed them, especially yardage-wise. So that gives a little indication of, uh, you know, maybe what Medfield's a little bit like. I saw the Ashland Dover Sherbin game, and uh, Dover Sherbin beat, had beat Ashland. And, uh, you know, Dover Sherbin um, had some speed. I don't think as much as Holliston, but uh, the speed kind of hurt Ashland in that game. Second down and five for, or third down and five. Oh, nice tackle. Nice tackle, tackle by yeah. number 60. Tackle for Tristan a, Crimmins. Tackle for a loss right there of about two yards. Well, these kids practice just as hard as the, the first team does, and it's great to see the, all these kids get out there and get a shot.
Should be the last play of the game. Right away with fourth and seven. And a big countdown by the Red Sea, and that does it. Holliston, 48, Medway, nothing. Well, a game that was won on the offensive end, the defensive end, the special team end, but that defense, you know, Carlos had mentioned a little bit earlier is that, it's, you know, it's pretty rare to throw a shutout in football, and, uh, you know, that defense, again, they're going to they're gonna have their hands filled next week, but I'll tell you what, right now it looks like they're going to be able to be up to the challenge. Right. Six different Panthers with touchdowns tonight. Two from Devin Harding. Two touchdown passes by T.J. Kiley. Uh, a rushing touchdown by T.J. Andrew Dennison with a touchdown. Owen McCarron with his first touchdown. Aiden Ibbotson with his first touchdown. And a touchdown by Brady Sweeney. A great night for Panther football. Great night weather-wise. The whole Ibbotson clan was here out to see. Uh, yeah, to we see the younger brother. We got to see Brennan and Dylan. They came back. That's good. To, good to, always good to see them. Okay, and now Carlos with Los's final lowdown. Thanks, Tom. The final score from Comedian Field. It's all Panthers in this one. They take it by a score of 48 to nothing over the Mustangs of Medway. Uh, complete domination by the Panthers in every category on the stat sheet. 359 total yards of offense for Holliston. They held Medway to under 50 yards of total offense. 49 yards for the Mustangs. 16 first downs for Holliston. Only four first downs in the entire game for Medway. Just a defensive um, performance like none other uh, that we've seen in a long time. Uh, 123 yards passing for Holliston, 236 yards rushing for the Panthers. Each team uh, lost one fumble. And in terms of actual turnover margin, uh, Panthers came away with a plus two turnover margin over the Medway Mustang, uh, the Mustangs of Medway. That includes a couple of interceptions as well for Holliston. Individually for the Panthers, quarterback T.J. Kiley was 9 of 13 for 123 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Leading rusher for the Panthers was Devin Harding. He had 12 carries for 90 yards and two touchdowns. Aiden Ibbotson, 38 yards on four carries, including a touchdown. T.J. Kiley had 31 yards rushing of his own, including a touchdown. And then the leading receivers uh, for the Panthers, Brady Sweeney had three catches for 55 yards and a touchdown. Owen McCarron, two catches for 34 yards, including a touchdown. And Andrew Dennison, two catches for 29 yards and a touchdown. For Medway, you know, not much to talk about, but quarterback Luke Frotten, 6 of 18 for 47 yards, no touchdowns, two interceptions. Their leading rusher was Henry Comras. He had seven carries for 13 yards. However, the story was the Holliston Panthers defense. A lot of players on this team contributing to this great shutout win. Uh, leading the way was Owen Zakshevsky. He had four tackles, including a tackle for loss. Brady Sweeney also with another tackle for loss to go along with his three tackles. Uh, there are a couple of um, turnovers, in the, actually three turnovers in this game by the Panthers. There were two interceptions uh, from Andrew Dennison to go along with his two tackles. And then Nick Larsh had a fumble recovery uh, as well. Uh, a couple of other guys uh, checking in with tackles for loss in, in big games uh, on the defensive side of the ball. Pierce Alachi with the tackle for loss. Uh, Joey Gentile with a tackle for a loss as well. Uh, just an all-around great performance from everyone on defense. For more stats and information on the Holliston Panthers, you can follow us on Twitter at HCATFootball, and that's the lowdown. Thank you, Los. We also want to thank uh, Bruce Gilfoy high above courtside up here in the, the big cam. We want to thank Christian Boudet here doing all his uh, magical work with his computer, and our own Tom Harmon, who's down on the field with the field camera. Well. You know, uh, came up here, it's a uh, great day for Holliston, and um, he brought him another win, Tom. I mean, I don't know what, 
I don't know what your magic is. I don't know what you're doing, but you gave him a shout out this week. Well, it was the Orange tonight and Timmy O'Connell's yeah. foundation. Come out for Tim's trot tomorrow. Final score from Hall from Committee at Field, Holliston, Holliston 48, Medway nothing. We'll see you next week over in Milton. Good night, everybody.